Hey there guys, Elton here. I'm in the Villa Mart sector of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And look, there's a pigeon. He's hungry. Hey? And it's uh, unfortunately, it looks like it's going to start raining. Maybe if you're lucky and I'm lucky, I'll be able to get a little bit of a thunderstorm happening here. I'm on a corner of a, a busy area. This is the corner of Allard and Monk Street. Or as you're here in the Montreal Metro Station with the same name, Monk which I always think is fucking hilarious. Now, by the way, that restaurant I'm showing right here, I just had a delicious pizza. This is one of the best deals in town right now. A small pizza for $9.25 before taxes. Where the fuck are you gonna find that? It is delicious. Mmm, I am satisfied. So anyway, I figure why not film a walk going up Monk Street here. Uh, and I just wanna show here, you can see part of Mount Royal in the back there. Let's zoom in here. And that yellow-white building here, that's the uh, McGill Mega Hospital, the SHUM, as it's known at. And, uh, yeah, this Tim Hortons actually is still pretty new, actually. So here we go, let's do a little walk, hopefully it won't rain too much. And uh, I thought to myself, well, I'm going to go uh, see if I can go to the Angrignon uh, Boulevard overpass over the Highway 20, but more importantly where the railroad tracks are for CN. But if it rains, looks like it's going to rain pretty good. I don't think that's going to happen in that area anyway. So, um... Rust. Rust and Taurus. But I like the color. And uh, apart from the library over here in this building that appears to have been built, I would say, in the 80s, there is Fire Station 33. And those of you guys who follow my videos closely, uh... You might remember that I filmed uh, that old uh, Detroit-powered Spartan responding from the station. Well, guess what? It's still here because before I went to eat, <clears throat> I uh, <laughs> boot camp, cross training, Muay Thai. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe if I'm lucky, you're lucky. We'll get them, uh, get them coming my way there towards uh, Highway 20 and all that and downtown and all that jazz. That stuff. Meow. Ruff, ruff. Look at that. Is that a Maserati? That is a Maserati and it looks fucking totally out of this place. Out of place in this quasi ghetto right here. Or is it a fucking Jaguar? Uh, Jesus fucking goddamn cars look alike today. You know what this is today these days when it comes to automobiles? It's the complete opposite of the old days in the 50s when everything looked fucking different. It's a Jaguar. XF. Still a beautiful automobile though, man. But I mean, Ming, eh, it's got the lines of a fucking Jaguar, you know? Uh, I mean, a Ferrari, excuse me. Well, so far, so good. This is just a little bit of, uh, of uh, drizzle, so it's not bad. The camera can take it. That's a rare car right there. Look at that, Mercedes wagon? That's fucking rare. I like that, actually. Considering this is a, a very common car as a sedan in the cities, colorless cars. I was, uh, yesterday, I uh, was up in Trois-Rivières, the Three Rivers, which is an hour and a half north of Montreal, and is Quebec's uh, <coughs> uh, third largest town. And I noticed, not surprisingly, there are way more colorless, uh, way more colorful cars than there are, let's say, around here. Of course, downtown Montreal being the worst. I mean, it's like black, every fucking car is black or gray and white. And, oh boy, it looks like it might be a funeral here. Uh, we all gotta go sometime. Beautiful church, though. Yeah. What does it say? It says, uh, well, Endam means Notre Dame. Uh, Perpetuel Secours. So I guess that's Notre Dame of Perpetual Help. Okay. I can dig it. Right on. Yeah, 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 yeah. The city has closed off certain streets, certain areas to put all these benches and tables. I'm uh, not necessarily in agreement with that. Not necessarily. Not really. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but I'm not sure I'm caught up on sleep though. I, uh, I'm one of these people that where if I have to crash, uh, unless I'm really hammered off my ass or something like that, I, I'll have a really hard time. Uh, sleeping in a bed that's not mine, even if the pillow isn't mine. It's just, I don't know, can't deal with it. And, uh, yeah. 
A lot of, a lot of, there's a lot of new restaurants on this tree alone. It's very interesting. It's, uh, it's like where I live in Hochelaga, except it's a little more English, you know. And then you got Audi's, my uh, favorite car of all time. Of course, I'm lying. I fuck. I'm, I'm being sarcastic. As a matter of fact, I hate Audis more than ever. The yeah. only one that I like is the Audi R8 because most of these guys drive like fucking maniacs. That's one. Oh, something responding. Again. Oh, oh, oh. Where is it? Oh, oh, oh. Going the other way, I guess. I guess. Oh, look at this. 100% electric. I don't give a fuck if the fucking thing runs on peat on oil, fuck. You know how much those fucking electric buses cost? A million fucking dollars each. That's twice as much as a regular bus. But wait, it's not It's that bullshit. It's what what they smart for ton age. T'as pas été fucking brainwashed by these stupid companies, pis you know. Les gens, ils seraient better off dans une société aujourd'hui où on n'aurait pas constamment de l'information tout le temps qui sort que ça c'est pas bon, this is bad. You know what I mean? Tu comprends? Smart kid, he's uh, he knows already about the scam with the electric buses. Take care, man. Oh, it's fucking starting to rain harder. This video is not going to last very long. Whoa, where are you going? Oh, they're swooping in. Finding crumbs. Oh, look at this guy. Did, did you even see me, buddy? Fuck your... Never mind with your fucking phone. Watch where you're fucking skating. Fucking millennials. That's the problem. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is the problem today, okay? I'm going to fucking stress this again. There's too many freedoms today. It's fucking ridiculous. And then people look at me and they're smiling like I'm fucking joking. I'm fucking dead serious as a fucking heart attack. Too many freedoms today. And the guy behind me, he's older than me, and he knows exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Moi, j'ai dit, là, j'ai dit, aujourd'hui, il y a trop de, de, de liberté aujourd'hui. Il y a too much freedom. Puis ah, le, kid, le, le, kid, so, le, le kid que tu vois là, avec son téléphone, le gars, tu, si ça aurait été dans d'autres pays, là, il aurait pogné, il dit, là, là, on prend ton téléphone, puis that's it. Écoute, mais quasiment rentré dedans, si tu... That happens all the time. Yeah. Now, wait, I'm a vlogger, a YouTuber. Je filme les marches dans différentes rues, puis des fois, ça, ça arrive que je catch quelque chose qui me. Ben, pas juste intéressant, mais qui dérange beaucoup de monde comme moi, là, tu sais. C'est correct de faire du skate, j'ai pas de problème avec ça, mais watch where you're going, tu sais. Bonne soirée, monsieur. Oh, look at that cloud. Oh, it's getting interesting. But it's still uh, sprinkling, drizzling. Anyway, I'm sure he's a good kid, but I mean, come on. Oh, fuck, I see an old car. There's an old car over there. Oh, baby. I want to film as many old cars as I... Oh, I've already filmed it. <laughs> I've already filmed this Caprice. How do you like that? I filmed it uh, a couple of months ago in St. Henry, which is near here, and the camera's really getting wet now, so... Uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to film this. But everything looks okay so far. I'm looking through the viewfinder. The lens is still good. Well, I might as well give you a little overview over there. <laughs> Even though I have filmed it. Filmed it. And I just fucking realized, you know what? I can't believe I forgot, but I've already filmed a walk on this fucking street. I just remembered it. It was actually a, a beautiful but windy uh, winter day, actually. Oh, well, film another one. Fuck, that's how it is. So what are you going to do? And I'm going to stop over there at, uh, uh, what is it, St. Patrick? Shit, man. I, I said, jeez, I had wondered, too. I was like, ah, no, I didn't. I didn't film it. But again, you know, when you film as much as I do, it happens where you might... You know, accidentally film something again, but before. Huh? Oh man, I smell that barbecue. That old man was perceptive, eh? He's like saying to me, look at that, hold that sign as well. That's so cool. And Jari Fis, Jari and Sons. Oh, I like that. It's not even open. Oh man, it's getting dark. Oh boy. Um, yeah, I lost my train of thought now. Oh, here comes the, uh, the scrap. STM scrap. I still mind, but my mind is still blown away how, uh, they're gonna fucking be ordering new flyer buses. Look at this Pontiac Transport, first generation. Yeah? With a really old garage, really old garage. That thing looks like it's from the fucking, uh, the 30s or 40s, man. And look at that, that's how tornadoes are formed. And look at that, how cool is that? I don't know if I had showed that in my other walk. Beautiful uh, mural of a 57 Cadillac. Hey, that reminds me. Yesterday I'm on the bus, right? I'm coming back from... Uh, I'm coming back from Trois Rivières and we stop in Louisville. And uh, right off the highway there's this restaurant and the gas station. And the restaurant, no joke, the whole facade is shaped 
like a 57 Cadillac or 57 58 Cadillac Eldorado Buritz. Fucking weird. And now I have to stop this because it's raining too much. Yeah. So, anyway, guys. Well, uh, I'll just show you where we are here, ending this video. This is St. Patrick Street here. It's rare I use this camera in the rain like this. Well, so much for going to uh, where I wanted to go, but... Uh, oh, wow, look how dark that is. Oy, oy. Okay, guys, so uh, take care. Adios. Whoa. Hope you liked the video. Take care. Adios.